Hi Gemini, welcome to your July 2020 Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's have a look see what the month ahead has in store for you. For your actions and interactions with the world at large this month you get the justice card right so this month it's all about commitments for you and it does look like you are reassessing or reevaluating your commitments this could see you really going over any contracts that you have at this moment in time it could see you trying to renegotiate some of the deals that you are tied to so this could be uh, maybe looking to refinance a mortgage maybe you're looking to uh, trade a car you know trade in a car part exchange i think they call it um, this month that's and that's the feeling that I get from it is kind of like and it's interesting because you're tapping into the mercury retrograde right and mercury retrogrades always affect you more than most other signs uh, besides the sign that it's taking place in because you then it's your ruling planet right so you're going to be feeling this energy and the justice card is about commitments it's about contracts it's about legally binding commitments things that you are tied to and it does look like you're being very proactive right your actions and interactions with with the world at large what you do this is about you being very focused on that right so what do my contracts you know are they up for renewal do they need to be reassessed or reevaluated? do i need to re renegotiate them i actually feel like this is the month where you're probably going to be looking to get yourself a fairer deal and i don't just mean financially i mean across the board it actually feels like this is a time where you're saying you know what where is it that I give too much? Where is it that maybe I always think about other people too much? Now, a lot of people say like, oh, you know, there's a duality to Gemini and it's very true. I'm sorry to say, you know, it's just plain truth. There is a duality to you guys. And, uh, you know, sometimes you can come across as morally gray because your ability to play both sides or at least understand both sides is kind of evident. Whereas this month, I actually feel like you're going to be quite sensitive. I feel like you're going to be very focused on not only other people's feelings, but also your own. And for that reason, it kind of feels like you're looking at things and saying, wow, you know what? I don't want people to see me in this way anymore. And that's kind of kind of come across the board. So this could be you saying, right, you know what? If I'm going to be fair with other people, I need to be fair with myself as well. And maybe that you're starting there from that place. For your money and materials, you have the full card, right? So a brand new energy. This is a brand new start when it comes to your finances. A brand new contract of some sort is coming in. Now, for some of you, this could be a new home. Uh, for some of you, this could be embarking on a new sort of health and fitness regime. It looks like you're, because you're committing to something completely new, right? Just to, to, to blend the cards there, to bring them together. You're committing to something completely new. Now, Obviously, we talked about the Mercury retrograde and stuff, right? But it does look like you're going in a new direction when it comes to uh, your money, when it comes to your materials, when it comes to your finances. For some of you, this could be a new home that you're deciding on. For some of you, this could be about a new job. Um, maybe you are retrograde, refinancing, restructuring, redoing, uh, renegotiating, you know, renewing something. It looks like you're going in a different direction, though. And for some people, this might be really shocking. For you, I actually feel like this is a new direction of self. Now, uh, for your money and your finances, it does look like, I mean, whenever the full card shows up, there's always a big change on the horizon, right? Then sometimes at the moment it's taking place, we don't really see it for what it is. And then like, you know, a week, two, three weeks later, we're like, wow, okay, that was a big pivotal moment. And then, you know, a while from there, you kind of realize that everything is different now. Um, the full card tends to be a lot easier than the tower, right? The tower comes in, trashes shit and says right now you've got to deal with it and be up the mess. Oh, <laughs> right whereas the 
The full card is kind of like, la la la, it's a bit more whimsical. Um, so it's easier to navigate in a sense. And actually, you you know, you guys have a very full-like energy, you know, because there's a real curiosity to Gemini. Um, for your physical health, it, yeah, again, you could be committing to a new health regime, maybe one that you'd already tried before, did really well with, put down, you know, maybe you got, you know, back into bad habits or whatever. This could be you going back into something that you've done before. Uh, that's definitely a possibility. But the home looks like it's changing on a, in a big way. And it might be for some of you that you're welcoming somebody in. Maybe you're, uh, you know, maybe you've got a new commitment to a new partner, or maybe you're welcoming in a new baby. You know, it's, it could be across the board for all of you. For your communications and conversations, you have the moon card. Look at this, we're three for three right now. So this is gonna be a big fated month for you. There are gonna be big things taking place uh, for Geminis over the course of July. Whenever you see um, a concentration, and these first four cards are pulled out of a full deck, right? So 78 cards. So it's always something to pay attention to. The bottom row, I always use a major, a deck of separated majors to pull those. So you're three for three right now. Your moon card, you could be having a lot of conversations about the past this right the full card something surprising that comes out of the blue the moon card the past it looks like someone or something from the past could be coming up for you this month uh, it may be something that uh, had previously caused a bit of confusion or maybe caused a bit of bother this is the month where you can finally lay it to rest now i'm going to be really honest with you the tower card uh, the tower card the full card has it it's the opposite side of the coin right so you might find yourself i don't know going to an event maybe you're uh, you know going to a meeting and a family get together of some sort you're having a conversation and all of a sudden it blows up and you know at the time you might think like wow you know like this is all going you know it's all going a bit haywire for something that's not really that big or that important you will come to see the importance of it after but it does look like you're laying something to rest this month when it comes to your communications and conversations maybe this is a conversation that you've had over and over right the moon card cyclic um you know the past right something that keeps coming up over and over again and you're just like Do you know what i'm so done with this already like can we just have it out and it does look like this month you will have the opportunity not only to vindicate yourself but also to express how you feel about something and finally sort of have it done the unfortunate thing is it needs to come up in order for it to be done all right for your love and relations you have the seven of wands for those of you that are partnered it does look like this moon card has something to do with your personal past something about the relationship or something that may have threatened the relationship previously is going to come up but this is going to be like that sort of you know when they say the final time it's the final countdown <laughs> um yeah it looks like you're having it's like one you know like that final blowout where you have that like oh yeah i remember that time we, we kind of blew up and then after that it was done so you will have that that moment this month just be prepared for it uh maybe i mean for a lot of you maybe you already know what this is um, you know that I'm talking about I mean everybody will be forming their own sort of idea of what it what it relates to for them for those of you that are single <clears throat> I don't know I've got to be honest with you I don't feel like there's anyone new coming in for you this month if there is somebody in your life that you're kind of connected with this will be somebody that you skirted around or danced around with we saw this last month we've seen it in the weeklies it's kind of like you and this person of like, should we, shouldn't we? Are we going to do it? Are we not going to do it? Are we going to go there? Are we not going to go there? And you kind of do this sort of seesaw dance of I'm in an Ari. And it feels like this is going to be make or break for you guys this month as well. Sorry, I've got itchy nose. Um, this is where you're kind of saying, yes, we're either going to do this or no, we're not. Um, and, you know, the seven of wands for me is about standing your ground or fighting. So you've got to fight for it. And it's not just going to be like someone says, oh, you know, okay, like, you know, I'm in, let's do it. It's going to have, you know, you're going to have to show up this month. For your first week of the month, you have the Emperor card underneath the Justice card. 
that is that's commitment that is big commitment relationship commitment this is um, you know something like marriage something like a traditional connection something that uh, you know sees you signing a legally binding contract of some sort this is coming up for you guys in a big way so that's interesting right because your four of wands uh, four of wands <laughs> your emperor is the number four so whatever it is that you're doing it has very real world implications Applications for you, you know, in, in the here and now. First week of the month looks very interesting. Second week of the month, you have the strength card. I mean, look at that. For a lot of you, you are embarking on a new sort of physical journey. Maybe this is weight loss, maybe it's weight gain. Sorry, my bloody nose. Because um, your strength card isn't just about strength and inner courage, it's also about your physical body. So it looks like this month you're doing something, you're going in a new direction when it comes to your physical self, when it comes to your physical body. Maybe you get really annoyed with yourself and say, right, you know what, this is a month where I'm gonna sort my weight out. Or maybe you say to yourself, you know what, this is the month where I'm gonna finally cut out A, B, and C. Uh, when it comes to your health, Gemini, it looks like you're very health conscious this month. And you're making a real big effort and a real big push to have, um, you know, just to make your health as, as and make yourself more healthy and vital. You know, get gain your vitality. When it comes to your money and your finances, um, it does look like you're going off in a new direction. And whatever it is that you're setting into motion here in July, you'll start to see the results or the seeds of it starting to grow in the month of August. So it's not going to be long before you see results. It won't be this month specifically, but it won't be too far along either. The other thing with the strength card and the full card, um, for a lot of you, if you are not trying to conceive, just be very careful this month. For those of you that are trying to conceive, this could be the week that it happens. Be open. Uh, for your third week of the month, you have the lover's card right underneath. So that's your card, right, as a Gemini. Something with relationships is really coming into focus for you guys this month in a really big way. Um, remember, Venus is direct now um, and will be heading out of your sign soon. So she's kind of finished beautifying you from within and is going to head into uh, Cancer, where she's going to then start to beautify and harmonize your finances, which is very exciting. Um, because it is under the moon, for some of you this could be an old partner, an old ex, maybe somebody that you had a fling with. Um, I'm going to be really honest with you, for those of you that may have had a fling behind a partner's back, that secret could be coming out this month. It's definitely, with these cards here, there's some sort of possibility of that. So my advice would be to get on the front foot, have a heart to heart with your partner if you really are serious about them. Um, I know a lot of you are probably looking at me like, did he just? <laughs> uh, yeah, um, but yeah, and even for those of you that are single, this could be an ex coming back into the fold for, um, yeah, okay, enough about that. For your fourth week of the month, the temperance card keeps coming up here for the fourth week of the month. This is like the third sign that has had the temperance card here in the fourth week of the month. So. I'm intrigued now to see what takes place on the wider world stage over the course of July and also here at the fourth week of um, the month. Uh, for those of you that are partnered, you and your partner are going to, it's going to be a case of this month, you are going to have to have some sort of a heart to heart. You are going to have to sort of really look at the long term and ask yourself, okay, what are we doing? What does this look like for us? Where are we going from here? For those of you that are single, um, Again, it just looks like you're having to really carve out what it is that you're holding space for or who it is that you're holding space for. Excuse me, my bloody nose is itching like mad, right at the tip as well. All right, and then your key to the month. Mm -hmm is the Knight of Pentacles. This is another card that's been really active this month. Um, very interesting. So your key to the month, right? The Knight of Pentacles is saying that all of this is gonna be slow and steady wins the race. Even whatever it is that shows up with the full card, it's going to be something that unpacks. You need to see this as a process, not as an event. This is about taking your time. It's about really thinking about the steps that you're gonna take, thinking about the conversations that you're having. Uh, this is a time for you to be as transparent as you possibly can. 
right? None of the usual Gemini stuff is going to work for you this month. You're gonna to have to be honest. You're gonna, I'm not saying that you're not always honest, that that came out wrong. Um, you're gonna, but you are gonna to have to be honest. You're gonna to have to be very open. Uh, none of this kind of, you know, let me see if I can do the whole dualistic thing. This month is a month for you to be honest and open and straight up front about everything. The more you are, the better this month will go for you. The straighter you are down the line, um, the more open and vocal, and you know, you communicate better than anybody else, even with a Mercury retrograde. You just need to be really very clear about what it is that you want, what it is that you feel, and how it is that you choose to proceed. All right. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic month. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.